To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Revelation 2, verse 7. In view of the Lord's soon coming, how earnest we should be in forming characters after the divine similitude. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Is not this worth striving for? If we lose heaven, we lose everything. And there are none of us who can afford to do that. If we keep in view the eternal joys awaiting the overcomer and trust in Christ as we strive for the perfection of character, do you think we shall be unhappy? Should it make us unhappy to imitate Christ's example of self-denial and ministry? We are seeking for the life that measures with the life of God. Therefore, our natures must be brought into conformity with the will of God. We must so conduct our life work that we can go to God in confidence and open our hearts before Him, telling Him our necessities, and believing that He hears and will give us grace and strength to carry out the principles of the Word of God. What we want is heaven, the victor's crown, an entrance through the gates to the city of God, the right to eat of the tree of life in the midst of the paradise of God. We want to see the King in His beauty. Then daily, let us keep our eyes fixed upon Christ, the perfection of human character. And laying hold of His divinity, we shall have the strength of divinity to aid us in overcoming every evil tendency and desire. I thank God for my life. I have a faith that looks over into the future and sees the tree of life. Upon it grows precious fruits, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No more broken hearts, no more sadness, no more sins, no more sorrow, no more suffering in that kingdom of glory.